forgot the last of the story, and she said, and he's still a bully. Oh, <laughs> oh man, he's still a bully. <laughs> but so, we, we were the minority because we were new in school, mm -hmm. and all the kids were related. <laughs> uh, it would be like all of us Ayer kids. Sure. They were all Wilsons. <laughs> so Curtis Wilson, uh, I suppose I should tell that story sure. if they wanted me to. Uh, Curtis uh, was out in the back room pulling all the tassels off my sister's straw hat that oh. was a top sombrero that our uncle had brought us. Mm -hmm. So she had all these tassels and he pulled them off and I said, you leave my sister's hat alone. So I took the hat and put it over on a hook and I turned around and he kicked me in the fanny and I fell flat on my face. Oh. Oh. I, well, you didn't do that to one part Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I just know Irish and I, but after him I beat him up. Oh. I had him down and he was bloody and the teacher Miss Rapson just came in and she lifted me off. <laughs> she says, you act like a lady. <laughs> well, that was the end of it. But I thought, why would she tell me to act like a lady <laughs> when she had kicked me in the back? <laughs> so years later, <laughs> my mother and father retired to California. So here comes Miss Thorpe. Old now, the retired superintendent of schools. She sits down beside me and I said, Clara, why did Curtis Wilson kick me in the fanny? I beat him up and I was told to act like a lady. She said, oh, Irene, it's obvious. Your father wasn't on the school board. Oh. <laughs> and then she turned and said, and he's still a boy. <laughs> End of story. <laughs> my experience in the fifth grade. Then they used to stack up, the, uh, you know, the, the seats were all one unit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they'd stack them up just before they got to the ceiling, and then all the kids could sit up there and watch their parents dance. Oh. They bring in a, an accordion and mm -hmm. a violin and all those and then we or we'd watch our parents dance at social events. Oh my oh, that God. was so beautiful in a small town. And I had perfect attendance. Even in that cold weather of the only house. Cold and <laughs> I can remember going to school when it was we liked to go when it was the stormiest, you know. <laughs> because then there wasn't as much Planned things that happened uh -huh. uh, it was more fun things. Sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I remember particularly at Easter time one year it was so bad, and my uncle Ralph lived with us, and so he walked with us to school. Mm -hmm. And um, but when we got there, we dyed Easter eggs and we did all kinds <laughs> of. We thought, oh, this is wonderful, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful time to be going to school when nobody else comes. <laughs> oh, wow. I should tell you what my father said about you know I. I was born in, in the city, Worthington, mm -hmm. and I was 13 years behind all my brothers and sisters, so I was kind of like, well, everybody tells me spoiled, right? <laughs> so he was always trying to impress on me what hardships he had endured sure. as a kid. So he told me, he says, well, you know, I had to walk two miles to school. And he said, I only had one pair of shoes, so I carried them because I didn't want to wear them out. But he said, I jumped from cow pie to cow pie to keep my feet warm on the way to school. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I believed him. And, <laughs> I believed him for a little while until I figured out that he was full of it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, well, you've been to a number of logs. I know Georgia has met up with you many times. I saw you in Winona yeah. uh, a couple of summers ago, or was it even last summer, maybe? And we were doing things. Um, have you presented at at any of the logs and so forth? Oh, you mean a program? Yeah. yeah. Well, I have a tape of one okay. uh, of of a log that I think it's in there. He's okay. Working with it. That okay. was a log meeting. Okay. Um, Yes, yeah, so I presented this about Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter. Yeah. And um, I can't remember. Yeah. I've come to so many of them. Yeah, I think yeah. you've been to most of them, haven't you? Mm -hmm. what? I think you've been to most of them, haven't you? That's right. Oh, yeah. She's the one that got all the rest of us started. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pushing yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> 
but that's the way it is. Yeah. Way, and I went around when I was young asking everybody questions. They were all gone. Sure. Now they come to me and ask me questions, so I pass it on to them. And that's why it's important to have youth groups. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. You were talking about possible relatives to maybe put on the walls out here. Was that Peter that you were talking about? Were there Peter, others? Well, we were trying to decide because Ellen was actually first, but sure. he was the son, yeah. and then his parents came, and mm -hmm. uh, and they're the ones that actually stayed here, you know, for the, the longest, longest time. Sixty-one. Yeah. They came in eighteen sixty-one. Okay. Ellen was here earlier. Sure. And he went to uh, the uh, Oregon Trail. Oh. Uh, to look for gold, uh -huh. you know, all the young men went west, and uh, his initials are on Independence Rock. Really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's a L, L, uh, I mean an E, E, and then beside it is R U S, and we determined that he came with his cousin Rustan. So we think that Rustan was trying to do his whole name, but he oh. didn't go on. <laughs> but Ellie put. The e, e on. Oh, so, fine. I have a picture. I have a picture of it. Sure, yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. You were also talking yesterday about um, the relatives that may still be in the area of of your ancestors. Adeline Sandon. Oh, Adeline Sandon. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, she and, was a descendant of. She, Let's see. She was either Mari or Asa. <laughs> well, I've got a picture of her mother. Okay. <laughs> on that tape. Okay. Yeah. I've taken pictures. When I went around, I'd have my camera. Sure, sure. I'm sure she was Mari because she was with Yvonne and. She was probably a Morrison? Yeah, Morrison. Okay. Yeah, she was, yeah. Yeah, so that oh, yeah, was Mari yeah. and her yeah. mother oh. mm -hmm. was Morrison. So that was yeah. Peter and his daughter. Um, so okay. I, I see her in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so. so. Well, anyway. Well, it's, uh, sure. I, I can see her, but I can't. I visited her when she was in the hospital. Uh -huh. So I took a picture of her. Okay. Of, uh, several times. Uh huh. Oh, um, yeah, I can't think of her first name, though, I'm just now. Sandin. Mm -hmm. But Adeline and her sons were here. I don't know where her sons are, if they're still here. No, they're not in Spring Grove. I don't think they're in the Spring Grove. No, I don't think they're in Spring Grove. But her, she had two daughters. One of them passed away. One was married to Esquire. And she died, and then the other one, I'm not sure who she's married to. And that. So those are the only yeah, the ones connections to the end, yeah. Well, let's go back also. You said you've been to Norway a number of times. Have you guys visited as well? Were you together or is it different times? Pictures and Sure. Um, we were together once, and these but these separately are. other times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these are, this is actually a picture of our, the corner cupboard they left behind when they came to Spring Road. Oh, fun. Wow. So yeah. these are pictures. And this is the lady making my bunad ah. uh, national costume when I, uh, and that was up out of Egadol. Mm -hmm. That's where the, we left. And here's a picture of the people they left behind. And here's the sister who did not come to America. Okay. And she still had her national costume on. We took okay. that old. That's an old old picture from Norway. And here was old Per, one who said they'd say Peter in America. <laughs> <laughs> and he, the, he was on the farm when I was there. He owned okay. the farm. Now his son was the father, and now the grandson is running the farm. Uh -huh. And they're all pairs. And, and they're all pairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Makes no, it tough no, to keep them straight, isn't it? No, <laughs> From generation no, no. to generation. I was there this summer and talking to him, and he was talking about. It some other of his relatives, and I said, well, what was their name? Peter. I said, oh, that's unusual. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you asked about, you didn't know about Andreas Mork. Now, he was right. a historian like Johnson was mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and uh, he has the history, he did the history of Sigdal. Oh, okay. Where we came from. All he came did from. the original set of big books. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sigdal, Egedal, and Crossrod, too. Mm -hmm. And here we are planning the 75th in Norway. That's the... <laughs> author and the mayor of whatever the little town was, mm -hmm. and my cousin Guri Enger uh -huh. and myself, and that was in 85 and 4, and we were planning the 86th, oh, which is 25 yeah. years ago. So I have pictures of the 25th mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, years ago. Oh, and we'll see some of the people who are gone and some who have grown up, and it'll uh -huh. be interesting at 25 sure. years. So these are some of the pictures. Yeah. Oh, great. And that's a typical home, old home that they'd leave behind. Mm -hmm. That was a structured house. Yeah, very much paint, ornately painted mm -hmm. walls and 
Yeah. And furniture as well. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what else that's. We had a, an English teacher here back in the 